So, from all your research on healing, why an exhibition? It's a good question. So, I think some time ago I became worried that the normal scientific method of communicating, writing papers for publication in journals really makes no impact. And also, in a sense, the scientific method's wrong for healing because it's about reducing things, whereas this is about wholeness and it's about individual experiences. So how do you convey some of that concepts of wholeness and individuality? And I thought maybe an exhibition of some sort. And I, I suggested that somewhere, I don't remember where, and then it sort of ran away with me. It got picked up by the Institute for Integrative Health who fund us, it got picked up by other people. What a great idea, Paul. And suddenly that's what we were doing. And that made me very anxious. <laughs> I think as scientists, we're always encouraged, you know, in the last few years, there's been a real push to have impact and to engage with the audience and make sure that science doesn't just stay in universities. And people usually do that in the form of things like public talks and workshops. Yeah. They don't often do things that are as creative as this, as completely outside academia as this, really engaging with people, really sharing our results and getting feedback from the people who see the exhibition. Yeah, and for me, as someone that's skirted around academics and been a bit academic, um, I, I'm always quite sad to see a lot of really interesting academic research getting buried in, in fairly unpenetrable academic mm -hmm. papers that, yeah. that only people who have a real interest in it can wade their way through. And then as an artist, I'm really interested in looking at that research and sort of absorbing it so that I can try and reproduce something that has the ethos and, and, and the thing is that if that academic research wasn't done to begin with, it wouldn't actually have the depth. And my, my job, I see, is, is simplifying it, but if the depth wasn't there, then, then um, it would be too simple. But because the depth is there, I can simplify and the depth remains, if you like. So um, it's been really gratifying for me to work well, that, on it. Well, that's great. We I'm just so blown away by the job you've done with it. But I think the other thing to say about this is an exhibition is in a context. And you know, the research we do takes things out of context in general. And you know, context with things like healing and caring is everything. And you can help us contextualize these things. So this particular piece of work brilliant piece of work you've done for us, is contextualised for a hospital uh, audience. And as you know, we think we might need it slightly altered for different audiences in different contexts. But then of course the context for the viewer is also as important as much as the context, the way you deal with context in the exhibition, the context in which viewers see it and experience it, I think makes it a completely different thing to a dry scientific report. Yeah, and I like to have the parameter of, of say, a hospital or a public place yeah. as, as, a, as a sort of guidance for me in terms of how I produce things. And then we can use, use them again but add something extra if it's in a, mm. in a context where we want more of the academic yes. research present, etc. So I like to design things so they're practical, as we know. <laughs> Practical and reusable and movable yep. and all those kinds of things. So, um, yeah, hopefully they're going to survive with these grubby hands in the corridor. We shall see. <laughs> I think it'll be a, a wow. Well, so it's, far it's going down well, isn't it? I was thinking it's not just about the context. It's also about the way that we're hopefully enacting healing a bit. So we're not just talking about yes, healing. Yes, we're doing we're it. also giving people a bit of a space to experience something like healing. No, and if it, I mean, if that's it has happening. that effect for one person, yeah. then that'll be wonderful, and hopefully it'll be more. Well, I mean, I've already spoken to about six people that were just randomly walking along the corridor, and it's, it was working for them. Yeah. The kind of quotes are great because they're so um, tangible. Mm. You, can, you can hang on to them. They're quick and easy to read, but actually they've got huge amounts of thinking room and depth. Mm. So that works really well, and yeah, that's good. I've loved it. Excellent. Thank you.
Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you too. <laughs>